Now, seriously, how tough can a country that consists of a thousand men under five foot six really be? Yeah, look that up. But you know, Italy takes their dominance over a series. You look at a map. This one looks like a bus. Italy looks like a boot. Yeah. It's like this constant geographic reminder. We'll let you hang out with us, but if you get out of line, we'll kick your ass. For sure. Oh, but um, out of all the nationalities I get confused for, the one I get confused for most often is Mexican. Now, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, I understand, and it actually doesn't bother me at all. I just get tired of having to answer the same three questions over and over. So I have found a way to make it fun for myself. I just tell the people, uh, no, I don't know where you can get good tacos. <laughs> yes, I am a legal citizen. And no, I will not know your lawn. <laughs> For less than twenty dollars. <laughs> you know, it's actually easy to see why people confuse me for Mexicans. Mexicans and Sicilians have a lot in common. We both have black hair and dark skin. We're both little guys with big attitudes. We both like our food spicy. And our women spicier. Yeah. Hot tamales. Oh yeah, come on. Yeah, but, um, you know, I was thinking, as a matter of fact, Sicilians and Mexicans have so much in common, we should just combine our nationalities. I can call myself a Mexican. Or a Sexican! Come on! I you know it, uh. Oh, boy, uh. Is there any gamers out there tonight? Well, that's what I expected. You know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I love video games, man. In my lifetime, I have seen video games go from Pong to Grand Theft Auto. They go out from two lines hitting a square ball back and forth on a gray screen to a preteen boy's wildest fantasy. Cards and guns and movies! Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about this. Oh boy, but you know, I still remember the very first computer game I ever owned. It was called Speak and Sell. Yeah. Yeah, that's a while ago. It's like 30 years here, you know? Basically, this game tells you a word, you're supposed to spell it back. Pretty simple concept. There's only one problem. You couldn't understand a word this game was saying. You know, turn it on, it was like, Bow, Blast them. Press repeat. Blast them, Blast them. No question. <laughs> so you start typing in the letters and it's still. U, T, S, T, I, A, I, A, I, A, I, I, Incorrect. Try it again. Now, now, if you remember speaking Cell, it was a pretty cool game. It was pretty popular. But there was another problem. Some of the words in this game were actually spelled incorrectly. <laughs> now, you try going a different route. And you type in Cell. The correct spelling of Western is Christian. Oh, Christian, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Since I need to pray for interpretation of tongues to understand this thing. <laughs> the only thing that was worse is when your speaking cell would run low on batteries, you know, because that would sound more like, <laughs> Then you were just completely lost, you know. If my parents had just spent the extra 50 cents on Dorothy, I might have stayed out of special ed. <laughs> Hell, that might have solved the problem. Anyway, I'm Jack Lombardo. That's my time. You guys are awesome.